Right, ugly duckly. Uh, trimming. Trimming. Uh, right, uh, I'm in test flight, so if you're in your plane, go into test flight and then go. I've just paused it. Uh, go into controls. Full real battles. If you're. Uh, most of these tutorials are for PC and joysticks, uh, but. Yeah, full reel, uh, go to trimming. You can scroll down, just go to trimming. Uh, trimming. Uh, I don't have this, I don't know what this does. <laughs> There's a button, I've never used it. I've assigned it, but I've never used it. So, assign a button for reset trimming. Uh, I've got mine for R. So whatever you do, if you press R, everything will go back to zero. Now, bear in mind, this. some planes let you do trimming in game but a lot of planes don't let you do them so R resets everything to zero uh, this is the most important one trimmer fixation uh, I've got that to F so you're in test flight and you trim your plane up and you've got it just how you want it uh, if you press F the game will save it so when you're in test flight that is so when you leave and you go into an into a, a normal game when you spawn on the runway, the game will remember what you've done in test flight and your plane will be saved, so to speak. So, trimmer fixation, that's the one that you need the most. Uh, right, so, elevator trim is the, it's probably the only thing I use while I'm in game and I'm using it all the time. Uh, elevator and rudder, I only really use these when I'm in the test flight when I've got when I've bought a new plane I go into test flight and I trim the plane so it flies straight uh, and these are the two things that I use but I only use this in game pretty much um, as you can see I've got this on a rotary dial if you look here uh, on my throttle I've got a, a slider so I've, I've got that and I can use it with my thumb when I'm flying um, but if you haven't got a, a rotary dial or an analog slider, or you can just use keys, which is exactly the same way which I've done these. So if you go to Elron, um, you'll get this screen for the elevator as well. So you can just copy this and just put it on the elevator. So to increase the value, I've got the. I'm just using the right and left arrow, uh, arrow keys, so I know which is which. So the first value, the increase value will turn the plane to the right, or roll the plane to the right. The second value, the decrease value, will roll the plane to the left. Uh, and you can invert them if you want. If you've already set these up and you find that they're not the right way around, just invert them. Um, I didn't know this, but if you press them both together, it should reset back to zero. So there you go. So this is just keys. This isn't analog, it's just keys. So enable access, no. Keep value of disabled access. I don't know what that is, so I've left it at zero. <laughs> Dead zone, I haven't touched it. Non-linearity, I've not touched. Uh, you don't need to that if you don't want to use it. Relative control, yes. So this means that uh, when you press a key, it'll go up one or down one. Um, I've got the sensitivity at 20. Uh, relative control set up, no idea. I've left that at zero. Multiplier, I left it at one. Correction, I've left it at zero. So this will just trim your, your aircraft left and right. Um, I've done the same for the rudder. I've got slightly different values here. I don't know why, but you could, al you could always just copy these. Uh, so I've got W and S. Um, w will trim to the right, I think. Um, and S will trim to the left. Um, if I quickly show you, get off there, continue. If I resume, and if you look at this uh, this little dot, oh, there's two little dots. You see where it says left and right on the upper middle bit? There's a dot that's floating left and right. That's your slip indicator. Um, so. When, when you're flying and you, oh god, I've pressed the wrong button. When you're flying and, let me just get it out of skew. 
if that dot is to the right of the middle, I would press W to bring it back to the middle. And if it's uh, if it's to the left, I would press S to bring it back to the middle. So if I go back to controls and trimming, I have yeah. So W would bring the the dot back from the right and S would bring the dot back from the left. Uh, I'll explain that in, in a minute. Uh, dead zone. So yeah, so these values are slightly different. I don't know why, but they're not, they're not too extreme. So these are the two main ones that you need. Uh, L1 and rudder um, and an elevator. All right, let's get back to the plane. Right, I've also, right, so R resets everything. My elevator is always on minus one for some reason. Right, so, as you can tell, this is not the, uh, this is quite a docile plane, but as you can see, if I go into a dive, the plane, as it gets faster, the plane just wants to climb. Um, so I'm constantly moving that elevator trim to keep it level. So I, I'm always playing with the elevator trim. Right, uh, there we go, let's go back. So what I do is, um, depending on how fast the plane is, if you set your trims and you go a different speed, the trim will act differently. So what I, so you can see I'm climbing all the time. So I'm just gonna adjust my elevator to fly straight. Um, so what I do, I get to a speed where I'm sort of like cruising. So it's, uh, in between speed so to speak so I'm going about 300 I'm going a bit fast actually no 300 um, so yeah when you're at cruising speed that's when I tend to trim my left and right so the first thing I do is I try and fly level and straight I hold the joystick I'm, I'm I've, got, I've got a bit of right and a bit of uh, A bit of low. What have I got? I've got minus six elevator, and I'm just holding the the plane as steady, and then I look at the trim, and you can see that see that dot. It's to the right, so I'm going to press W to bring it back to the center. Uh, so I've got five percent on the rudder, just to get it to uh, stop slipping. That all that means is that you're you're flying sideways. So if you you know you're doing sideways slipping, can I get an action? I don't think I can show you. Get round. I never use mouse aim. So yeah, slipping is your rudder is right, and you're playing, you're flying, you're almost crabbing sideways, and it's it's costing you speed. That's why I generally. I mean, you don't have to trim the rudder, but it, it is it is useful. So the, the the dot, well, I could do a bit more, couldn't I? I could do one more. There, it's in the middle. But as I speed up, it will go out of sync again. See, it's now going to the left. So I only set the trims to my average speed. You know, a cruising speed. So then I'm not really fighting with the plane all the time. As you can see, I'm just climbing again because I've got faster. So I am always trimming the elevator. So, yeah, with the joystick and your elevator trim, try and fly level. And then adjust your trim on your uh, rudder. And then you can see, um, and after that, you can, uh, you can adjust your aileron trim to stop you going left and right. And I think that's probably about it. I might just uh, go back a bit. There you go. Ah. So now my rudder's pretty much straight. My ailerons are pretty much straight. And this is probably just cruising speed, so I don't need to touch anything now. So if I press F that setting will be saved, so when I go back to another game, everything will be saved. Um, but, as I said, when I'm diving on somebody, 
if I'm diving on somebody, I'm going to have to change the elevator because it always climbs. The faster you go, the, the plane always climbs. And there we go. Um, I'll jump into another plane where it's more pronounced. Right, I'm in the G10 now. Um, so now I'm just cruising. Um, I'm, I'm just... It, I'm just pretending that I'm in a game looking around for fighters um, and this is the speed I'm probably just cruising at. Is it 460, 470 kilometers? 319 miles per hour. And you see if I let go of the com computer, if I just let go, the plane just wants to dive to the left and it wants to, the nose is creeping up a bit. So what I would do first is trim the nose so I'm, I'm flying straight ish and then hold the joystick so that I'm flying level and then I look at the trim of the oh there we go then I look at the slip indicator but this this slip indicator seems to be fine at the moment so I don't need to adjust that that seems okay so the only thing I need to adjust is the roll because it's just going to the left all the time so just do a fit a bit of the L run and then a bit of the elevator so I'm not climbing and I'm still trimming I'm still rolling to the left so I'm just going to put a bit more L run on and I'm, I'm slightly nose heavy now slightly and now I'm rolling to the right so I just do probably three um, I reset my elevator because I don't need to save the elevator because I'm always changing it um, and that's pretty much as much as I want really um, I could do one on the rudder and then that uh, yeah see it's it's between one and two I want I need a one point f there we go uh, there we go that seems all right so I'm, I'm flying level um, as I said the elevator I don't need to change because I I don't need to save it at a specific point because I'm always changing it. Um, and that seems alright. So, at this point I would re change my rudder back to zero. My, my elevator, sorry. And I'd press F to save the settings. Uh, and that's how I've trimmed it, really. Um, so if I press R to reset, it goes back to that, which is terrible. So there you go, that's pretty much, that's all I do. So if I show you uh, why I trim, I trim the elevator in the game, right, if I'm diving on somebody, you can see the plane just wants to climb all the time. So I just put a bit of opposite elevator to keep it straight. And then I don't have to push forward all the time. Oh, I'm going to rip my wings here. Oh, no, not. Saved it. Saved it. So yeah, once I've done the, the rudder and the ailerons, I don't bother with them anymore. It's just the elevator that I'm constantly playing with. Um, and obviously if you don't have a an analogue system, you can just use the keys to change the elevator. But that's all I do, really. So, just to recap. Hold the plane with the joystick so you're flying straight. Check the slip indicator. Uh, adjust it if you need to, and then just change your uh, your ailerons. Now, in game, you can certain planes, not all planes, but when you're in the game and you're flying, you're holding the joystick in such a way that you fly straight. Some planes let you press F in game and it'll save the position that you're holding, but uh, not all planes do that. But that's that's it really. That's all I've got to say about that. So, give it a go. Remember, test flight is your friend. And uh, hopefully it should uh, save when you get into a proper game. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.